To many, it just looks like a pile of overgrown grass with some dead trees lying around or waiting to fall. But after spending some time out at the old Rosh Percy Park, it was easy to find out how a person could fall in love with the peaceful area, with the birds, the noise of the river, and the beautiful green area around you. Mary Rose Boyer is the chairperson from the Southeast Tour and Trails, Inc. They are a board that have leased the land for one year to try and fix it up into the site it used to be. Boyer tells us why the group chose to move forward with the project. We became interested in the park uh, when we heard, uh, whether it was true or not, that uh, the park was going to be fenced and uh, grazed. And it, it's been such a part of everybody's life, uh, or most, people, uh, most people's lives who are on the committee, that, um, that uh, there was a feeling that that just couldn't happen without somebody trying to do something. So we took it upon ourselves to uh, explore, I guess, the possibility of, explore the possibilities, um, possibilities, what could we do, you know. So we found out that the property still belongs to the government. Uh, Sask Environment is uh, in charge of, um, of the recreation site. It was decommissioned apparently in the early 80s, so a lot of the facilities and uh, that were here, there were about 37 sites here, pic uh, camping sites, uh, as well as uh, uh, water and electricity and you know the the full deal. Um, and then when it was dec decommissioned, a lot of those um, facilities and and uh, sites um, were taken out. The Rosh Percy Park has a lot of history behind it. It was once a place for gatherings from church picnics to the miners union and even some political party rallies have been held in the valley. They will begin working on clearing out some of these sites this coming Friday as well as the next two Sunday afternoons. They are looking for volunteers to come down and help. If you're interested you can contact Mary Rose at 634-7540. For the Esteban Mercury.ca, I'm Janelle Butler.